Okay. Okay, fine. So I'm going to tell you about the dimensions and we discussed about linear and aligned, right? And I will tell you again that if we have to dimension something, I mean, if it's a straight line, I'm going to dimension by using a linear dimension, okay? So the command is DLI and press enter and then click the first point and click the second point and drag it. It's done. And similarly, if you uh, if you need to uh, dimension without uh, clicking each point, I will tell you that DLI press enter and press enter again, okay? And then you will see one rectangle like this here and then just click on the straight line. I mean the straight line, only horizontal, if it's uh, horizontal or vertical, then only it will work. Straight line and move it. And I will, we can recheck the dimension. DLI, press enter and click the first point and click the second point. It's right. Okay. So, if you have to dimension something uh, very quickly, like uh, without clicking each point, you can dimension it like DLI, first enter, and then again you have to enter, and then one rectangle will appear, and you can um, click on the specific line, and the dimension will visible. Okay. Similarly, um, I will draw one line that's not straight. Okay, now if I have to dimension this, and I can show you the difference between linear dimension and the aligned dimension. Okay, you already discussed that DLI, it's linear dimension and I click first point and this is actually not straight. Okay. And I click second point and see how the dimension is coming. I'm getting only the distance between these two. I mean, if we draw one straight line uh, here and if we draw one straight line here, the distance is like this. Not exactly. I mean, exact distance is different because it's uh, diagonal, right? So, yes. if we do the dimensions, and I will show you again. Uh, if I try to DLI, dimension it and press enter, or, or uh, DLI, press enter and again enter, and see, I, if I drag it into left or right, it will come the right, the vertical dimension, I mean the shortest distance is this, okay. And if I drag it into up or upside or downside, it will show the horizontal dimension from this point to this point. Do you get my point? Yes. Okay. So, for that, we have to uh, do the aligned dimension. D-A-L, that's align dimension and press enter and click on the first point and click on the second point. Wherever we are clicking, that point will be connected and the dimension will be done. Okay, similarly, align dimension and press, again press enter and then the same rectangle will appear like we did for the linear dimension. And if you click on this line and see, uh, I made a uh, two lines here to join. That's why it's coming. Uh, it's picking the first line. See, I, I uh, do you remember how, how I drafted? I mean, this is not exactly if I uh, explode it. This is one line and this is another line. Okay. So, uh, a complete line of a complete object will be dimension. Okay. This is, it, it looks straight i mean it looks single but it's not a single line that's why if i d a l press enter and again press enter it will dimension only the line 
it is complete okay 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 then uh, the next one is continuous dimension okay. i will tell you one by example it's a rectangle and i am copying this just for making and i am making the dimensions different different dimensions okay so here if i try to dimension it d l i i can dimension it by using linear okay and click the first point and click on the second point and i dimension it and again i have to dimension it and uh if i dimension it, I, it does it, it will not look like this because i have to align with i, I need a um, professional look by making it uh, straight i mean dimension will be in a same line aligned one okay understand so i did every time click on the line and click on the first dimension then it will aligned so my other option is first i have to do the dimension okay linear dimension and then d l i click on the first point and click on the second point and i get dimension for the first object and the command next i have to type is d c o that means dimension <laughs> continuous okay and then press enter and wherever we stop the first dimension the next one will start from the end okay from this point i i stopped from here right and it started from the next dimension will start from here and i can do the dimension with the, with only one command d c o c it will continue like this and wherever i want to continue it will go like this okay understand hello yes okay get my point right yes.